Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a holiday today. It's All Saints Day and we're observing it. That's why we're on a holiday. And I decided to do a painting tutorials because, you know, um, what's the best thing to do when you're having your free time? <laughs> I guess this is the best time for me to really enjoy um, my free time because you know how much I love painting either I'm painting for a video or I'm painting just for myself so I decided to paint some waterfalls but this time it will be a different waterfall because um, I've I've done quite a bunch of waterfall paintings in my landscape a playlist you can find them but this one will be I mean today for today's painting tutorial we'll be doing a different kind of waterfall because the water are the waters are kind of spread out <laughs> I'm gonna make sense later I, don't, I really don't know what I'm saying but what I'm saying is it's a different one from my usual ones so I'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial and we will only be using a few colors today and none of them is weird or anything like that <laughs> so the colors that we'll be using for today are as follows we have burnt sienna black titanium white my favorite color phthalo green and phthalo blue i might use some yellow mid yellow later but i have to decide that while doing the video i really don't know how okay if you're hearing some noise outside that's because i don't know why they did that while i'm filming <laughs> but anyway guys i hope it doesn't distract you that much so let's uh, sketch first my subject and as you can see here my canvas is already painted dark gray I know it, it looks kind of weird right now because of the different shades of gray that you can see and it's only because I painted over an old painting of mine that I don't like if you've been watching my latest my latest videos uh, you've been hearing me talk about painting over uh, my canvases because those are the old paintings that I really don't like and I, I don't want to see them anymore. <laughs> it's, it's like that. So I decided to paint over an old painting of mine and I want to create something new over it. So yeah, let's begin sketching the subject now. And for the sketch part, I'll just use my good old flat square flat brush. I really don't know what to call this brush. <laughs> I'm just calling it small square brush, but then I hear some artists say that it's a flat brush. Whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. So let's begin sketching now. For the sketch, I'll be using my black paint. I don't know if you can see my palette. Maybe. Yeah, you can only see like a portion of it. Anyway, I'm just going to use my black. And let's just try to identify where things are gonna go. We're not trying to make any detailing here. We're just trying to create the, uh, the pattern or the proportion. Uh, proportion? <laughs> yeah, guys. Forgive me, guys, if I'm not making sense sometimes. All right, so. Just like that. That's, that's our sketch. <laughs> that's our sketch. So, no, just kidding, guys. I have to go and show you some more small, general, no, to give you the general details of the subject. So, I'm going to use again black. This or, or this portion. This will be the rocky portion, okay? We will also be doing some perspective today. I know that my sketch uh, does not really make sense at the moment. That's because the sketch should not really make sense at the moment. Because if it does, then it's, not, it's no longer sketch. It's more of detailing already. So this will be the rocky portion. And the view will be, uh, you know, the diagonal view. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to underpaint first the rocky part. And I'll be using some combination of black and brown. So I'm going to get my burnt sienna. And just mix that with my existing black here. It should be dark brown, but more dominantly black.
All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. Just color it black. If you're asking why I did not color this part, later I will explain. Alright, for this part, it will be the lighter color of the rocks. So I'm going to add more brown to that, to my black color, and add white to uh, make the color light. So I'm just going to use this color. It's like grayish brown. Uh, it's like creamy, browny color. Okay, that's right. I'm going to paint it this way. And again, this is just the underpainting. Um, don't worry too much, guys. Don't worry too much about uh, our paintings not looking pretty similar or the same if you want it to be really the same. This is just the underpainting. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to get my black just to darken even more this area. All right. So we're done with the underpainting of the rock, rock, uh, rocky portion. <laughs> Let's proceed to doing the waters, which is also my favorite. As most of you already know, uh, I love painting the waters and today we'll be doing some waters. So for the underpainting of this area, I'm just gonna mix my phthalo green and phthalo blue to create that turquoise color like this. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of burnt sienna to tone down the blueness and the greenness of the colors. So this color, guys, if you want to add a tiny bit of black, you can do that to make it quite deeper. Yeah, perfect. So this is what, this is the color that I really like for this water part. And as you can see, I'm doing some it's not perfectly horizontal. It's more of slightly diagonal um, brush strokes. That's because, again, we're following perspective here. We don't want to do like that. We kind of do something a little diagonal. Like that, not like that. All right, now I'm gonna use more blue and then black just to get deeper color. I'm gonna apply that in certain areas, not uh, in all areas. Right, like that. Okay, that's basically the underpainting for the water. Now let's move on to doing the sky, which is also my favorite part or my favorite subject, painting the sky. So for that, I think I'll be using a smaller, smaller brush. Again, this is not any technical brush that you find in the store or some other artists promote. Uh, this is just an old brush that got over, overused it becomes a little pointy at the end. So it is not any technical brush. I do not, I do not require you to get any brush. Um, I don't know, I, I'm just not a fan of um, 
commercializing um, brushes. I just buy brushes that I I find useful for me. I really don't um, recommend any brush for a particular use. You can use any brush that you want, to be honest. So I'm just gonna use an old brush, as I already told you. I'm gonna get my titanium white, tiny bit of blue, all right? So to make some cerulean blue type of color, but a little lighter version of that. And maybe I'm gonna add more blue, like maybe this color. And I'm just gonna uh, paint the sky. I'm gonna add more blue so that there is some variation. Then I'm gonna add, uh, okay, that's a good one. That's a good color of the sky that I want. So I'm gonna add more white to my light blue. Just add more white, okay? I'm gonna try to create some clouds, but definitely this is just the starting point. This is not the final clouds. I just wanna know where the clouds are gonna go. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to make my color a little gray because I don't want super white. Okay, that's the initial stage of our clouds. We will be changing that later. We will be like um, editing that portion. For now, let's allow things first to dry. Again, everything is under painting at this stage. So I'll be doing next the rocky portion um, that portion where we started. So I'm going to get into more detailing. I'm going to get my burnt sienna. I'm going to add... Uh, this is the part where I decide to use my yellow. So I'm going to add more white to my brown. And yes, as I told you, I'll be using a bit of mid-yellow. So I'll be using some yellow and brown like this and maybe more white. So like this color. And I'm gonna use this to define these rocks.
Okay, I'm gonna get my pure brown. Okay, like that. Now let's get our palette knife ready because we will be doing some more detailing. I hope this is dry because I use this to get some blue color. Anyway, if some blue color mixes, I really don't mind. So I'm gonna dab it onto my black. Maybe a tiny bit of brown just to make things more interesting and more uh, like realistic. So we'll be adding a bunch of brownie and black colors. So using the back of my palette knife, I'm just going to go and spread some paint um, on this area. like that and then I'm gonna get my light brownie colors like that okay and I'm just gonna get my ordinary brush my ordinary brush all right so this one and I'm going to make some more definition. Okay, I'm going to make some gray color. Going to get my green. Now like that. Okay, again, more green. So I'm adding actually some um, black to my green so that, oops, sorry, the white actually mixed. All right, so that's the initial part of this painting. Let's move on to, uh, I think I should, all right, before we move on to, to doing the waters, let me just fix this part. All right, I just fixed that part. I want to, add some more detailing on the rocks so i'm gonna get my white and light browns
and some yellows very minimal don't overdo that minimal hints of yellows Okay, again, some black, right, like that. Okay, now I want to go back to the clouds because I think this is pretty dry already for me to be able to paint over it, add more detailing. So I just uh, got myself some white paint. So we're going to dry brush this time. So I'm just gonna use a damp uh, brush. I'm gonna use um, the dry brushing technique and I'm going to create clouds. So I'm going to get my gray color. I want to add some gray colors to the clouds. gonna get some pure white and I'm just gonna tap like that All right like that so i might go back to my clouds later but let's move on and do some waters because actually waters is the main focus of this painting so i'm gonna use my existing white on the brush and mix it with my phthalo blue so like this color actually some yellow color is mixing but again i don't mind i'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to make it more greenish i mean grayish or to mute the color I'm gonna use this we're going to dry brush again this is the uh, first layer of the waters so I'm gonna dry brush again just remove the excess water from the brush let's create the waters I have to be very uh, constant uh, I have to concentrate here because this is my favorite part
All right. Okay, now we move on to the next layer. Actually, not yet. I'm going to make some foamy, like, waters right here. Same technique, but um, horizontal application of the brush. All right, like that. Okay, before we do some more highlighting on the water, I'm just gonna add more details on the rocky part. Just add some tiny suggestion of rocks in there. I'm going to get my black to add more depth. Okay, like that. I think I need more black, to be honest. I need to deepen the colors right here. All right, wash brush out. Okay. Now let's move on to doing some more water detailing. So I'm gonna use just pure titanium white. Again, this is fairly dry. I removed the excess water from the paintbrush. So I'm just gonna dab onto my titanium white. And in the same way, we're just going to apply the titanium white in the same way we did with the underpainting, the light blue color. I'm gonna do some tapping like this to add some movement.
Okay, now using my pure titanium white right here, I'm gonna go and highlight again the, I mean highlight uh, this foamy part of the, the waters. Like that. And again, I'm gonna dry brush. I'm gonna remove the excess water and I'm gonna go and make some circular um, highlights like that. This is to suggest that the water, um, the water going down is just too strong to make some little splashes. If you know what I mean, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna get my palette knife, all right? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go back to using my palette knife, but um, this time we'll be doing this area. So I'm gonna dab onto my existing uh, white, but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blue like this and some greeny color, maybe black, to make some grayish, greenish, bluish color. And I'm just gonna use this to create details on this part All right, like that. Okay, I think I need more white. Okay, I'm just gonna use a pointy brush. Again, using my pointy brush, let's go back to the waters. Let's add individual detailing. Okay, like that and let's create I'm gonna use my fan brush right let's create more foliage I'm gonna get my phthalo green I'm gonna get my mid yellow and then white and then black to tone down the color 
maybe more white like this it's really a muted light green really muted Because the colors of nature is actually are actually muted I've never seen uh, a natural color that is like pure like BAM highlight right so I've never seen I don't know if you've seen one but I really haven't seen anything like that so everything that I'm using if you've noticed are muted colors even my white when I even when I say pure white actually other colors are mixing uh, with my pure white so it's not really pure white okay now I'm gonna use tiny hints of this color this tiny right right here on the water these are very minimal do not make any crazy markings very minimal guys all right okay now i'm gonna get my white pure white Mixed with the greedy color, I'm going to add more highlights. like that okay now i'm gonna use again my regular square brush i'm gonna get my phthalo blue mix that with black right but more dominantly blue so that we don't take away the blueness i'm gonna add phthalo green all right and let's darken some areas on the water Right, like that I'm gonna get my gray so get your gray color and glaze the middle part if you're worried that I overdid it no actually I'll be using a clean brush to remove the excess paint I'm trying to glaze it I'm gonna go and get my palette knife again just dab it onto your pure white
that. Oh my gosh, I like this one. So I'm going to use the edge of the palette knife. Like that. To add more movement. More detailing on the rocks. I'm just using some yellow and brown colors. Just to make it realistic. Rocks have different colors. Also here. All right, now I want to get into the inside of the waters here. I'm gonna get my black and slightly cover some areas. We want some depth. We want to suggest that it's a, there's an indent um, right here where the water is falling. There's some indent, like a cave or something like that. You can take it as a cave. Okay, you need more brown. Okay, like that and then I want to go back to the sky because I'm just a uh, I love painting the sky guys Like that oh I, lo I love this one I love this one right so I'm gonna glaze 
some rocks here because they should not be in the same color because of some shadow. So I'm going to use some black. It's like um, watered down black. I'm going to glaze some uh, rocks with this color. We kind of don't want it to be just pure brown and black. We want some shadows. We want some depth. like that very minimal highlighting and shading okay i'm gonna use again my watered down black i'm gonna darken some areas in the water Wow, I love this one. I really, really like this one. I'm going to add more greeny colors, dark green, so that my foliage become uh, more um, volumized. <laughs> volumized. <laughs> I call it volumized. So it adds more volume, I mean. gonna add some hints of browns all right and some black again we want to give it more depth like that some white or maybe not white I'm gonna make it light brown Let me check. This is so nice. Okay, so I think I have to sign this now. I have to sign this now, guys. I'm gonna sign right here. I'm just gonna use my existing white. Like that. And I think we're done. We're done, guys. Yay! This is so pretty. <laughs> I really like this one. So I hope you enjoy this one, guys. I hope you do this one as well. Please let me know if you're doing this one as well. Or if you've painted along with me in the past, just let me know. Tag me on Facebook or send me uh, via Messenger or Instagram. Let me know. Or let me know in the comment section below if you like this one. And see you in my next video. Happy November, guys! Mm, 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 mm. I love you.